So, first exercise. It should be executed when it's warm, absolutely safe and no one is splashing around or messing with water. It is necessarily to do that in the shallow water near the edge of the pool, in the paddling pool, in the bathtub or on the steps of the pool. Level of the water should be no more than 30 to 40 centimeters. Besides, earplugs must be inserted into the ears in advance. Instead of swimming goggles, it is better to wear a mask that fits comfortably and adjoins well on your face, protecting your nose from the water. And wear on a swimming cap so that earplugs won't fall out of your ears during the exercise. You have to lean on your hands on the bottom of the pool, stretch out to your full height, and actually, your whole body should be under water, only the head is above the water. Take an easy inhale and very carefully and gently lower your face into water. And then stay like that under water for 5 to 10 seconds holding your breath in. Don't close your eyes. And the main thing, try to relax your neck. After all, nothing terrible is happening, right? Then also gently lift your face out of the water and inhale through your mouth. Relax and then repeat this method 5 to 10 times. And as soon as you feel that it works well, move on to the second exercise. Second exercise. Exactly the same as the first, but when you lower your face into the water, lift one hand up from the bottom for a few seconds. And so on, stay like that in the water with your neck and whole face relaxed. And then rise to the surface for inhale and breathe. Then repeat this method several times and after go to exercise 3. Third exercise, the same as the previous one, but when you lower your face into the water and completely relax, take two hands off the bottom for a few seconds. And so, hand in the water, counting to yourself to 5 to 10 seconds. If you succeed, congratulations! You did the main thing. You felt how to hand in the water with your whole body relaxed while holding your breath. Repeat this exercise as many times as you like. Imagine yourself as an astronaut hanging in zero gravity. Enjoy that feeling. And as soon as you feel very confident doing it, move on to the next exercise. And if the first time it didn't work out well, don't get upset. Try doing this method again very calmly and gently. I have no doubt that after a few attempts, you will figure it out. Fourth exercise. When you will be hanging in the water holding your breath in, stretch your arms forward like skis. And so, hand with your arms outstretched, counting to yourself to 5 to 10. Then lower your hands to the bottom, raise your head above the water and breath in. Repeat this technique 10 times. Fifth exercise. Now is the time to move away a little from your support, but so that your face is still turned to its direction and you stay no more than 50 to 70 centimeters away from the support in the water. Breathe in, lower your face into the water, stretch your arms forward and gently push off the bottom with your feet towards the side or towards the pool steps. Slide in the water this way without lifting your face off the water. If it worked, that's great. Try slightly increase the distance of that slip. Move back to the starting position, but this time by 1 to 1.5 meters away. And again, slide in the water taking a breath in before and lowering your face into the water. 
do 5 to 10 of these approaches and then move on to the next technique. Sixth exercise. The same but we add footwork to it. Gently waggle them without taking your feet out of the water. Feel that from this wiggling you begin to move further. Do this 5 to 10 times and don't you try to trash your feet in the water with all your might. Do everything gently and carefully. This will make the learning process pleasant and comfortable. Exercise 7. Same as exercise 6. We only add the handwork. There are two options. Swim like a dog or breaststroke underwater. And in both cases, follow the main thing. Your hands should move at the level of your face, underwater, but not under the stomach. Then it will be much easier for you to perform the head lift next exercise. Swim like that for 5 to 10 minutes with the rests and stops. Exercise 8. The same, but now we are trying to gently raise our head out of the water for 1 to 2 seconds. Without interrupting the work of our arms and legs, we lifted our face out of the water, swam a little bit, then put our head back into the water, without inhaling. Yes, first attempts are with a closed mouth. Just feel that you can raise your head above the water for a couple of seconds as you swim. And if after a few tries this technique starts to work out, move to the final exercise. Exercise 9. It is exactly the same as the previous one. We only add breath to it. As soon as you raise your head above the water, inhale, and then the same, gently place your face in the water. As you breathe in, certainly continue working with your arms and legs. Do not forget that they are the support for the raised head above the water at that moment. And if you are able to do this kind of swimming, raising head out of the water and breathing in, continue doing it as much as you can. You just started swimming, and this skill needs to be memorized. Still, just remember that training should take place only in the shallow water. When you stand on the bottom with your feet, its level shouldn't be higher than your waist. Well, actually, that's all. Try it, and I am sure everything will work out for you. It is a delightful feeling when you know how to float on your own and do your first swim without leaning your feet on the bottom. I learned this 40 years ago, but I still remember that delight that bursted all over me. I wish you too, my dear newbies, to experience this feeling as soon as possible. Yes, important remark. After watching this lesson, most of beginners may ask, why can't I swim with my head up above the water all the time? It is more convenient to breathe. Yes, of course, it's more convenient to breathe. But such a swimming can harm your health. Why? See the answer in lesson number two. And before this, do not forget to complete the test task for lesson number one. Very important for you to remember everything very well before you head to the pool. See you soon!